Alright, so welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about mimicking the contextual actions found in a lot of console games. That is when one button does two actions based on the context of the, of the player. So for instance, a lot of games have the X button as use and reload. It reloads as long as you're not looking at a usable item. Now this usually works, but there's always those fringe times when it doesn't. Such as if you need to reload but you're looking at a gun on the floor or a switch. You will never be able to reload your gun in that situation. You'll actually have to look away to reload it. Another one will be if you're anticipating using the use key and you press it too early you'll end up reloading and having to wait through the animation until you can use the item you're wanting to use. So what I want to do is to mimic the idea of having two actions on one button without any of the cons of of being dependent on the game on what action goes through so I can actually choose which action I want and this is actually a pretty simple uh, tip here a lot of you may already know about this or may have already guessed what I'm about to do if not don't worry Steam Controller is all about learning things, so here we go. On your regular press, well, I like to have my reload on my grip, so I'm just going to go with that. But on your regular press, you're going to do your reload button, whether that's middle mouse or R or wherever you're going to put it. And you want to make that interruptible because you don't want to reload when you want to use an item. Every single time you want to use an item, actually. Then on your long press, you're going to want to put your use binding, whether that's F or E or control, I don't know where your use key is. And you're going to want to bring the press time down. I tend to have it two under the bar. You could probably go further than that. It's not like you hold the, re the reload button. For most people it's a pretty quick click. So, but this, this feels good to me. It's responsive. I don't really notice that big of a delay and I've never misclicked so we're gonna go with that and to showcase this I'm running dirty bomb so as you can see fire my gun one click is reload hold click does nothing now if I come over here and I want you to hear the click and then see how fast it works so let's see if we can do this that's pretty instantaneous. I I barely even feel that. We're gonna do it again. And then of course if I'm looking at it and I do a single click I get the reload. Uh, something else that I've noticed if for whatever reason you do feel the lag and you don't want that. I've tested it with this and I've tested it with Alan Wake. You can actually hold the use key so it engages and then walk up to the item and it'll automatically start using it. I'm not going to say every game will accept that. Some games may require that the use key be pressed instead of held, but 100% of my whole two games I've tested it on, uh, it works well. So, Alright, so that, uh, it's a little bit of, a little tip there, a little trick to add two buttons, or two actions to the same button. Uh, go ahead and experiment. The, you can do anything you want here. A good place to look is actually at console games. Uh, when developers make configs for their for the Xbox controller, the PlayStation controller, they know they're limited on buttons, and they get really crafty. And it's it's a it's a good place for for inspiration. Something I found in the Call of Duty games, I think it was, is that throw grenade is on a short press but a long press is to cycle grenade types that's that's genius it works well and, and it's intuitive you've got you've got the two grenade actions on the same button so uh, go ahead play around with those add them to your configs think outside the box when you do stuff like this uh, try to figure out what commands will work work well together which commands influence the same item uh, and put them on the same button. If you come up with anything interesting, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let me know about it. 
I can always learn new things too, so. Alright, a uh, short video here, but it's a pretty simple concept. I hope you all learned something. If not, well, I got more videos in the future, so make sure you subscribe so you can uh, be notified of those. Alright, I think that calls it for, for this video, so uh, yeah, next time.